Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my dorm tour. It's still not finished. I still need to buy a little um, stool thing. I don't know, footrest, ottoman, whatever you call it, that I'm going to use both as a step stool to help me get up to my bed and also as a miniature desk for the area that I'm going to show you underneath my bed. Um, so the ceilings in here are very, very tall, so that definitely helps, and the room is definitely not as small as I was afraid it would be. Um, so this is my entry. We have a, I have a hallway here, as you can see, that um, is mine, obviously, so here are all my shoes. So you're going to see that a lot of this stuff, the way, way I figured out how to work this space was by going vertically. Um, it creates a lot more four floor space, makes it feel less crowded in here. That's my cart that I love so much. I use it for laundry, I use it for groceries, um, pretty much anything. I use it to pick up packages. Um, but yeah, so we're going to keep walking into this room. I love this room actually so much now that I'm in it and I'm mostly settled. Um, I still am going to be buying some more like actual decor stuff now that I know that everything fits um, because these walls are kind of plain right now but I will definitely be buying more decor probably actually this weekend me and my uh, best friend are going to my favorite places well both of our favorite places <laughs> um, that are in the town so we'll hopefully find some decor what I'm panning around and making you guys look at right now is the clothes that I use for box packing. So um, these are all different sizes. We've got like accessories in here. You can see my um, my tissue paper there. So all of this is like box packing stuff right here on this door. This door actually is the door to our bathroom that I share with my sweet mate. So I'll take you in here. Ignore, we have all stuff out, but I just thought it would be cool to show you. So we only have a single um, sink because we are in single occupancies rooms. That's me, ignore me, I'm in my pajamas because I don't. I only have online classes, really. So one room here is our shower, not really interesting. <laughs> um, the other room here is our bathroom. So that if it's not like we can't use the bathroom while one showers or use the sink while one is in the bathroom showering or using the bathroom. So that's very nice. And then that's his door. So, but yeah, so that's our um, bathroom. It's very nice and it's quite big in there, as you guys saw, for just two people. Um, so yeah, we'll keep walking. That's off my hallway. Right here we got what is wonderful to have in a dorm, which is a AC and heat system, love it. Um, as you can see, this is the baby wall. It's not finished. I can show you them in them in a second, but right now we're just gonna keep walking through. But yeah, they go in those little hammocks when I don't want them on the floor, like if I have someone, if I eventually will have people over. But right now they're just chilling on the, the um, boppy and on the uh, bouncer, but so here they all are. They're kind of matching. I, I was going to do a collection update, but I'm not going to do that today, but I was going to. So they're in like matching outfits, kind of um, like denim and neutrals. But yeah, and stripes. That was kind of like the theme ish I was going through, going, trying to do with them. But yeah, so you can see I've got the, I've got the little lights around there to make it look a little nicer and then I've got that, but it's not done. I'm probably going to put something else right there. Maybe another um, hammock in that blank space right there. Not sure quite yet what I'm going to do finishing that up, but it's mostly finished. So I thought I would show you guys. So as we come over here, this is my little kitchen area, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, this room has a lot of space. So, um, I have the little, some of the little pictures up that I had last year from a viewer, a wonderful lady who sent me those. 
Um, I've got my vacuum cleaner and my broom, got my microwave, of course, and I love this fridge. That's how you know you're kind of getting a little bit older <laughs> when you get excited over like a fridge, but this is different from fridges I've had in like be past like many fridges I had before the freezer was inside the main fridge and it would never freeze stuff completely so I've got now a separate freezer which is really cool um <laughs> it makes me very excited um so that's great I love my fridge and another solution that I found that helps a lot with making space is these hooks right here I got them off of Amazon and they um, they are heavy duty hooks, so they will actually, you can put on, put things on them up to 13 pounds. So as you can see, one right there is holding my, one of my book bags. And this one right here is holding some plastic bags that I have that I use for my s smaller trash can. Got some cleaning supplies over here. And this right here is my little pantry corner situation that I got going on. So this, this stand, this like little bookcase thing, I didn't have to buy. My mom already, already had it and she barely used it. So uh, yeah, it, it just, it's easily to assemble. So I twisted it apart and stacked them together and that's how I transported it here. So I didn't transport it here like this. And then I put it back together to hold all my food stuff. Trash can, of course, got my little nice little, um, air conditioner, heater, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called exactly. I've just got some things over here that I, I just keep. That doesn't work anymore because I need to find a new battery for it. And then here's my window. I don't usually leave it open because my room is facing the, <laughs> the little seating area outside the courtyard and also construction is out there so it's not a pretty view. And plus I had it open a couple of times and I've made direct co like eye contact with somebody sitting out there, so it was kind of awkward. So I don't normally keep my window open, it's just weird. <laughs> so um, I will have to obviously keep my window open when, when I'm painting and baking, but other than that, I keep it closed. Um, so this is my bed. <laughs> uh, that's a trash bag up there I keep when I need to throw something in there because my bed is actually, you can't probably tell, but it's, it's lofted pretty high. Um, so it's kind of annoying for me to come up and down off the bed. But this right here is go going to be my actual workspace where I work on the computer and do my schoolwork. As soon as I get that little ottoman thing that I'm going to use to double as a small desk underneath of there. Um, so the reason why is because I only have one desk and that one desk I'm going to have to use to paint. It's the only surface I can use to paint in here. So. Um, I had to find, figure out and be creative and find another way to be able to do my work as well because I could just work, do my work on my bed, have my laptop up there, but it, I don't like working in my bed because it makes me want to go to sleep usually. <laughs> um, so this is a little chair that I got from Big Lots. It's actually a child's chair, so it was like $30, but I fit in it still nicely. Um, you know fine so I got my little lights under here as well to create some more even more light down there um, this right here is what I got yesterday this little stand it's not pretty which is why I put it under here so I don't have to look at it but it does its job so if you re remember previously I was talking about how I wanted to get this cube organizer from this lady well, she never ended up responding. I haven't heard from her since Monday and I needed to take out my, like, and assess my, my supplies, for my painting supplies. I wanted to make sure they were okay, but I had nowhere to put them if I took them out. So I, I decided yesterday just to go to Lowe's and see what they had. They only had a nine cube organizer, which was way too big for my room. So I had to settle with this little plastic, um, storage shelf unit. It's it was cheap. It was only seventeen dollars. So you know I'm not mad at it. I like I said, it's just not nice to look at as as nice to look at as the um, cube organizer would have been. But yeah, it does function its purpose, which was is to hold all my accessories. So these are little accessories here, and um, my painting supplies when I'm not painting or when I need to put things away. This is my rooting stuff. Those so you see hair right there. My rooting lamp, uh, 
that's Kai. I'm actually going to start him today. All my paints and the brushes and sponges. And then that's where my oven is going to go when I'm not using it. Uh, so yeah, and those are waiting supplies. So those are glass beads down at the bottom. So yeah, everything has a, a spot, which is what I needed, really. Um, of course, those are my drying racks up there. They fold down, which is awesome. So yeah, that's where all like that kind of stuff is. And it's nice and tucked in in here and you wouldn't see it if you came into my room unless you came and looked underneath. So yeah, it's really nice. It's actually pretty tall and it fits right underneath as you can see very nicely. So yeah, all this room is a good size, but it still is a single occupancy room. I don't know if you can get an idea, but the walls, like I said, are the, the ceiling is so high that it makes it feel bigger and it's very nice in here. I don't know. For me, it's a nice dorm. I've got my little rug down here. But yeah, it's a nice dorm to me. And like I said, it's brand new. So this bed like is brand new. Like the mattress was st still in its wrapping when I got here. So that's really cool. I'm the first person to ever stay in this room to ever sleep on that mattress. So that's nice. So okay, up moving on. Up here, I have all my hats and stuff. Um, right there, that's a bag of gems that I'm gonna put around the room. Um, but yeah, I have my hats and stuff up there. These three drawers right here at the top are my drawers for my clothes and stuff. The two down here, the first one at the top is the newborn girl stuff. And then that's the new, new, uh, zero to three month girl stuff, three month girl stuff. So that's stuff for Emerson and then that stuff for Roe. And then right on a, on, on my bed, I have these set of hooks. Again, the theme of dorm living and making everything fit in like these small spaces is hooks and like shelves. <laughs> uh, that's the key. You're going to want to go vertically. So yeah, I've got these hooks here. They hold my like fanny packs, my, my uh, face mask. Uh, my book bag is actually on a hook on my actual dresser thingy um, in the back there. Uh, that's my main book bag. I've got my computer, I mean, my um, camera bag there, dirty laundry. But yeah, hooks are definitely your friend when it comes to dorm living. That's my tripod over there in a the corner, and I also have my skateboard down there. And then this is the desk that's going to be my painting desk right now because I wasn't painting. I didn't have all my supplies out yet. It was serving as my actual school desk, but uh, that's going to change. I have all my school supplies in there. Um, those are going to stay in there, obviously, because I don't need to put my painting supplies in there, but that were, that, that works for me. Um, I have a rolly chair, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's the, it's the little things. And I have a little nice soft rug down there to put my feet while I'm working or painting. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like right here, it's still really blank. There's not much on the walls. So that'll probably change soon. Um, what I would like to do is get another type of like storage thing to go there just in case I needed some extra storage. I could put like some kind of like shelving unit back there. That would be ideal. But yeah, so I got a light, a nice bright lamp back there. It's pretty bright in here. I don't know, especially when I open the windows that I don't think I'll need to use that when I'm painting, but it's just there in case I need extra light when I'm painting or rooting, you know. So over here, we don't have actual closets in these rooms. I don't know why they're weird. I don't understand why they didn't just put like a wardrobe or something. So what we have is these little open hook thingies. <laughs> so up there, I have plenty of storage space. As I, as I, sh you guys can see, I still have room to continue to stack things. But those are my extra boxes, the big boxes that I need. My suitcases are up there. Um, extra sheets and pillows and stuff are up there and then these are where I put all my jackets um, and then the baby's jackets and stuff um, down here is my the big bin at the bottom is my winter stuff um, and these are again just some extra boxes um, this right here is where the rest of the baby stuff is um, sorry people in the hallway being loud um, 
oh, I hate I hate being on the first floor. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so these are where the extra stuff is. So diapers and stuff and bottles and stuff. And uh, these are where the boy clothes are because these are what I actually have more boy clothes than girl clothes now, which is interesting. So newborn boy, zero three and three month boy. And then the bigger boy sizes are down there. But yeah, so that's pretty much my room. Um, <laughs> I'm still, like I said, in the process. Oh, that's me and my best, one of my other very close friends from high school. But yeah, I love him and I miss him. But yeah, so that's pretty much my room. Like I said, there's not much decoration in here yet. Not much decor because I still just moved in on Saturday and I had to go through a lot of figuring out how things would fit. So this this upcoming saturday will be more about buying decor stuff um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed seeing how i made this room work for me so that i can both live in here i can do my work in here i can still paint in here um a lot of people think that you can't paint even in if a single occupancy like you can't paint in a single occupancy room if you're in college um, I just wanted to show you guys this is how you can actually make it work. My room again is single occupancy, but it's, it's still a good size that I was able to obviously fit everything in. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it inspirational if you're going off the college tune and you're an artist or you are a collector and we're wondering how things would fit. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys sometime later on this week, probably Friday or Saturday, um, with a collection update video or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think it'll probably be a collection update showing you all my, my dolls and their details and explaining who made them, their kits and stuff. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys then. Bye.